Hi, in this video, we'll demonstrate an analysis of a very important incomplete block design, which is known as uh, augmented block design. And uh, this type of design is useful for screening of various treatments like genotypes, insecticides, especially when resources limit the number of applications for new treatments. And uh, uh, it is highly recommended for situations when a large number of new treatments require evaluation but only limited replications are feasible uh, maximum one or you don't have a, a space for the replications uh, for those uh, new uh, treatments so in this design uh, which is a part of an incomplete block design in this uh, design uh, a portion of treatments which are known as chuck treatments and these are replicated ones are arranged in a standard block design like in case of randomized complete block design or a balance and incomplete block design and to those blocks the remaining treatments having less number of replications which are known as stress treatments are added so in this design we have two categories of treatment one is chucks they are replicated and we have some new entries which are known as test treatments uh, so we'll be focusing more on uh, the analysis part using the R studio and for that we'll be utilizing two important libraries one is agricoli and another one which is totally uh, recommended for this kind of uh, experimental design. Uh, so for that, uh, we will first uh, recall the library, library uh, agri coli, and this is agri coli uh, library. This package contains the functionality for statistical analysis of experimental designs applied specially for field experiments in agricultural and especially to plant breedings. Uh, plant breeding trials uh, so we'll click on this enter and in order to proceed i uh, will be utilizing a data set where uh, we are having blocks treatments and we have a response variable say for example this is days taken to flowering uh, this is the data taken from a breeding trial and in this case we have five uh, blocks and in every block we have three chucks which are replicated uh, with respect to all these uh, five blocks which you can see and the total number of entries uh, or we can say the total number of treatments including these uh, chucks uh, within a block within a block are uh, 34 so we have a 31 uh, new or test treatments and we have three chucks in each block but these chucks are replicated in each and every block uh, so in order to proceed uh, we will uh, first recall this library that is li library agri coli and in order to uh, uh, perform the analysis of this kind of a data set utilizing this library we'll use a uh, default function that is known as uh, dau dot test followed by the name of the data set and in this example the name of this uh, data set is aug dollar sign uh, and the first thing is that we have to uh, put the value of the name of the block here then again I will write AUG dollar sign and I will recall this treatment then after that I get again write AUG uh, dollar sign then the name of the response variable then I will use method is equal to and where I have to put here you can see DAU dot test first we have to write the name with extract block from our data set that is why I have written the name of data set first then using the dollar sign uh, then after that we have to write the treatments or the objects of comparisons including uh, which includes both these uh, chucks and test varieties or test treatments then the response variable then I will use these these uh, inverted comma and within that I will use uh, this LSD or we can use uh, two keys or anything then followed by console c o n console is equal to true if we want the printout of uh, this analysis then we'll click on this enter then uh, within a few seconds uh, the results will be displayed and we have to wait for some time so we have uh, the results now this is very important that in a previous video on group comparison I have uh, recommended that uh, 
if you are using any laptop or a desktop uh, its processor is very important and because since we have a large number of uh, entries in this case and here we can see in the outputs we have the number of observations or total entries are 170 and we have two ANOVAs in this case one is treatment adjusted and for that uh, we have the traditional analysis of variance we have a source variation for blocks unadjusted then we have treatment adjusted source of variation control then control versus this augmented then we have the p-values for this also and uh, from these p-values you can uh, uh, you can uh, decide whether the blocks unadjusted are significantly different from or wh whatever the source of variation you have based on these p-values you can conclude whether they are significantly different from each other uh, then uh, you have another ANOVA that is for block adjusted then after that you have some summary statistics especially the coefficient of variation to overall model then uh, this uh, <coughs> critical differences but you have a diff with a standard error here and these are some of the groupings uh, which is done based on these uh, because we have used uh, um, here the method is uh, least significant difference uh, but we are more interested to perform this type of analysis uh, using another library which is actually meant for this design that is augmented rcbd so we'll click on the center okay we have recalled this and this is actually this augmented rcbd so as per this augmented rcbd is concerned this is used for analysis of augmented randomized complete block design and this is a default function that is augmented rcbd it is a function for performing the analysis of an augmented randomized block design since Federer was a person who has actually discovered or who has uh, who is an architect of behind this uh, augmented design and we have some functions for that and again like in the previous function uh, utilizing library agri coli here we have to first recall the blocks and then treatment and the response variables then we have to choose which post hoc analysis we want to do or which multiple comparison test we want to do we want to use least significant difference or two keys or none and we have to fix the level of significance and here this group is equal to true is very important if you are evaluating a large number of treatments then put this value as false uh, because uh, again the processor and all these kind of uh, things uh, which are by default present in your machine that matters then console is equal to true if you want to print uh, print uh, the output directly and simplify this so that makes much easier this and we have some arguments here also the block is a vector of blocks and we have treatment uh, vector also here which is uh, converted as a factor and we have checks also then the method uh, method dot comp which is usually used for uh, comparison or multiple compare we have least significant difference we have to key hsd and if we use none then no comparisons can be uh, done then we have to put uh, this type 1 error alpha which is the probability of type 1 error as you all know then if uh, true then genotypes will be grouped according to the least significant difference or dmrt or uh, the two keys hst which we have done by default it is true then uh, console simply if true output will be printed to the console if false it will not be printed then a very important thing which is here that is groups that is groups this is very important like here i will show you okay in case a large number of treatments or genotypes you are evaluating like i have said it is advisable to avoid the comparisons with the group is equal to false argument as it will be memory and processor intensive so this is very important so in order to utilize uh, this data set where we have three chucks five blocks and 155 uh, test treatments uh, how we can execute uh, this augmented design analysis uh, utilizing this augmented rcbd and like we used to do uh, we will write say for example out is equal to, i will give a name uh, for a function which i'll be executing then augment rcbd and i will click on this enter again the name of my data set is uh, this aug then I will use this block 
or similarly then after that i will but before that what i have to do which is a very important step that since uh, if i will see the structure of my data set which i am using in this video it is here you can see uh, i have already converted this as a factor this treatment as well as this block so you can use that as dot factor uh, this uh, this function from this you can make these uh, variables which are categorical in nature which are in character form you have to make them uh, you have to convert them into factor first so in order to perform this analysis i will use out is equal to which is nothing but an assignment operator then a u g augmented r c b d like in the previous uh, uh, step utilizing library agricole will perform again this then i will write a u g dollar sign i will write block then again a u g dollar sign then i will write treatment after that a u g then i will put this dollar sign again then here the response variable then comma then here method dot comp in the previous it was only method here i will put lsd within this uh, inverted commas then comma i will write this group is equal to false like uh, f a l s e false since i am putting this false because of this reason comma console is equal to true okay then we will click on the enter so we have the results without any pause without any anything so we have five blocks we have uh, 158 treatments we have chucks are three 155 tests and here the labels for the chucks are we have anova for treatment adjustment we have anova for blocks adjusted and uh, with respect to p value you can decide then we have critical differences then we have means adjusted here you can see it is a very important thing here you have standard errors for only checks because checks are replicated that's you are having the values for standard errors but not for the those test treatments then if i will use an another function to perform the genetic variability analysis so i will uh, use gva like this i will use gva dot uh, rcbd and within that i will use the name of the function which i have given in the previous step then we'll be having the output uh, we have mean general mean we have phenotypic variance we have genotypic variance we have environmental variance or error variance we have genotypic coefficient of variance uh, and then phenotypic then we have uh, this um, heritability both in uh, broad sense and we have genetic advance and we have a genetic advance uh, percentage in mean uh, for that uh, to know furthermore you'll click on this index then you can go to this gva.rcv and you can find out the arguments what does it mean because if you have a, a cv percentage within this range less than 10 it is uh, considered into a low category if it is like between 10 to 20 it is considered to be uh, medium then similarly if it is greater than 20 then it's high and similarly for this broad sense heritability and for this uh, genetic advance uh, then we have another thing that is known as genetic advance uh, as a percentage of uh, mean which is nothing is the ratio of genetic advance by the mean and again you can interpret and in this case we have a medium gam uh, since it is within these limits uh, 10 to 20 hope this video might be quite helpful to all of you thank you very much